I'm The Dollar Sportsman, and thank you for joining me today. No, you're not seeing double, you are seeing two of a very cool air gun. And we're about to give it to you in detail as to what's going on with this and uh, have some fun in the process. So keep watching. We're gonna have some fun with the AEA Challenger today. Thank you guys so much for watching today. It is a beautiful day and I wanted to bring to you a rather cool air gun that I recently had the chance to test. This is the AEA Challenger Bullpup 25 caliber air rifle with a Hawk optic scope mounted on top which made shooting a breeze. It was awesome. Uh, this air gun comes from AEA Air Guns uh, sold by Fox Air Power in the United States. Very special thank you to Fox for sending these to me. And you can see by the design, it is very short, which is awesome. It adds some maneuverability. Specs on this air rifle, you have a very robust pad on the buttstock. You also have a 10 round magazine, which uh, is a very interesting way that it works. It's a little different, so I'm gonna go over that with you on the video. You have a very nice bolt. It, uh, it takes a little effort to get this back, but it works quite well. And you also have a power adjuster right here. Now in this video, I don't deal with lower power. I just don't. I go max power all the way because I want you guys to know what the maximum potential is out of this. And it is a lot. Spoilers. Yes. So this is a unregulated uh, air rifle. That means that there is no regulator controlling how much air pressure is going to come out with each shot. So you fill it up to maximum capacity and then you have at it. Now every single time that I filled this up, I filled it up to about 23 bar or 34-ish. 100 PSI. I would recommend going to about that much each time you fill it up. I just put it up to 23 because that's what uh, I felt comfortable with. That's just me personally. And the power that we got out of it at that pressure was extreme uh, to say the least. So that's 25 cal. Now what is this one over here? This is the 30 caliber version. You can see it is quite a bit longer. It uh, does not have a shrouded barrel like the 25 caliber version does, which adds a lot of sound suppression. Uh, it's just loud and proud, as uh, Fox Air Guns put it to me. It does not come with a cap on the rail, on the threads. I wish that it did. I think that would be a nice improvement. But in this video, we're going to use a zero dB suppressor on the front of this just to add that extra silence to it. And I highly recommend that you pick one of those up if you're going to shoot this gun. Now about this. This also gets power that is just outrageous for an air rifle. I, I was very impressed. When it comes to that, if you're looking for an affordable air rifle, uh, I don't have the cur most current price right now, but it's in that range. And that is just a ridiculous cost, as in ridiculously low for what you're getting out of these. The power was supreme. The wood stocks are just beautiful. And it had some pros and cons, but uh, there were more pros, I would say, than there were cons. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. So let's take it out to the field. I'll show you exactly what was happening. Now it was a very, very windy day, I gotta tell you. So I was not able to speak out in the field because my mics would pick up all the wind. And the accuracy, I wish, could have been a little better because of the wind. And you'll see that in the video. As soon as the wind dies down, you can see that the group shifts that I'm shooting, uh, particularly with the 25 caliber, and that's just because we had extreme wind gusts that day. It was nuts. I mean, I had a shift of two to three inches at my in point point, but the groupings themselves were tight, and uh, that's what I was really looking for. So I appreciate that. Let's have some fun. Let's get right to it. I'll be using two of the most common pellets here, the Hades Diablo and King Heavy Diablo, which are a bit heavier than the Hades. You can see here that we start with the Hades and the first shot is over 1100 feet per second with a pellet. It soon starts to drop off and you can see it continually decrease. Now this is due to there being no regulator within this air rifle. Nevertheless, the power that we're getting out of this is just immense. You can hear the wind blowing so hard out here. 
which I'd recommend a heavier pellet anyway, but I am just impressed at how much more power we actually got with a heavier pellet. We still had a deviation of about 99 feet per second, but the power was just off the charts. To fill the magazine, you turn the face counterclockwise so there's pressure. Then you're gonna flip it upside down and insert a pellet through the back end of it with the skirt first, as you can see here. That'll ensure that the pellet seats properly in the future. Now flip it back around and now you can fill the magazine normally as it will hold tension with that first pellet that you inserted. Now that's interesting because most other magazines don't quite work that way or require you to fill through the back first. But as long as you get it right the first time, you'll be good to go and this worked without any issues afterwards. It's time for an accuracy test, so we're gonna get going and see what we can do with the 25 caliber. Now I apologize that the footage of the target itself is so shaky. Again, it was so incredibly windy, that we just had to do our best. Now you'll notice here as well that I'm just aiming for groups, not for center target. And it's actually pretty good. You'll notice that it starts to group in one section and then the wind kind of lets down a bit and I start getting this group over to the right. Now that shows that this gun is really accurate and really awesome, but these pellets are definitely affected by the wind. And then I pulled that one, but of course that's always gonna happen. It's time for the 30 cal and I'll be using the 44.75 grain and the 50.15 grain Diablo pellets out of the 30 cal with the zero dB suppressor on front, which you can get from Air Guns of Arizona. And yow, what in the speed is that? That is just ridiculous. We are staying over 1100 feet per second for the first several shots out of the tank. And I just cannot believe the velocity that is coming out of this thing or the power. Check it out. Now for the higher pellets, and you'll notice that in that last one, the entire tank was basically used up in the nine shots. And oh my gosh, there it goes again. Extreme speeds, even with the heavier pellet, we are getting such high velocities and such high power. Watch this. Time for another accuracy test using the heaviest pellets, just to try to buck the wind a bit. This one goes way to the right because I'm trying to hold center mass. So then I do a holdover to see if I can get it on target. And there it goes, just under the flyer from the last group. And again, hole over hole. We get more and more great shots. That was a little bit of a flyer though. And then boom, hole over hole yet again. I am impressed. These things are just doing really well, even though the velocity is decreasing. And that is what is so impressive to me is that it can group so well despite losing velocity. Twenty-five cal, two groups due to the wind. Thirty cal, a little bit due to the wind. I actually had to hold real hard. You can see it's just blowing crazy out. For my last trick, I decided to try some slugs out heaviest slug in this sample pack. Thank you to Air Guns of Arizona for sending it to me because I just wanted to see how much more accurate the slugs would be with so much wind blowing. So here we go. What's interesting to note here is that my impact point was the exact same right here as my last group, so you can't even tell the difference. To show you guys on video, I decided to hold way down and low just so I could get a group that I could show to you on the camera and it just starts killing it. The accuracy is impressive. The power on the chronograph you can see is just amazing. And this is definitely coming with me to RMAC competition. I am the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Let me know what you thought about these awesome Challenger Bullpups. I thought they were great. The FPS spread was a lot, but the power and the accuracy despite that spread was just incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends who are looking for powerful PCP rifles and get out there and have some fun. I really hope you do. I will see you guys soon. I'm gonna be having some fun at some upcoming competitions and it's gonna be great. I hope you'll come along and I'll see you on the channel.